So it feels like I've milled so many boards for this uh, barn project. And I am not even close to the amount that I need. I have the wood. Um, I just need to mill it. And I'm going to do that right now. Uh, yeah, I'm 50 to 70 2 by 4 short on the barn for everything that we need. Because we need hay storage. And we need to build some infrastructure inside of the barn other than just framing it. Um, I need to get the rest of the roof deck. Ugh. Hair. Goat. I need to get the rest of the roof deck um, milled so that I can finish doing that. And uh, today, I'm all I am doing is just cranking out boards on the mill. So I'm going to give you some clips of me cranking out boards, but I'm going to be busy. That's for sure. Rough and dirty.
this. And I got some of that. And that's about it for tonight. The sun's behind the mountain. I haven't had supper. And my bedtime's in about a half an hour. Night, YouTube. Well, Katie, that was a good nap. I am uh, kicking these things into working mode now. There we go. Welcome back. It's about to be a very productive day working on the barn. We've got chickens laying eggs. Yep. We got lumber milled. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get some good progress done. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that we're gonna get that we're filming because the chickens they're quiet unless we press the record button. <laughs> All right, we've got the outlooks framed, so now we can move on to the roof decking. Overhang. Yep. Um, do you want to explain why we're using cottonwood or like benefits and yeah. all that? Um, the benefits is it was in a slash pile getting ready to be burned <laughs> one day. Um, but the, the nice thing was the cottonwood, we had a good diameter. Cottonwood actually is used on truck trailers, like on truck beds, because it's, uh, it's actually a pretty strong wood. It's light, it's strong, but I don't understand why cottonwood's never used in framing, especially in Canada. Nobody uses cottonwood for anything. Hmm. It's totally fine. Take we used it in our chicken coop that we have currently. Yep. And Just to fine. test to see how it worked and it yeah. still standing. Yeah. You know, um, but I think as a cladding, um, it's going to work great, you know? So yeah, we're going to get into it good. with our cottonwood that we just milled. Yep.
Ready? No, come here. Come. Come. Good morning, everyone. We're back to the barn build. Uh, so today we're going to be finishing up the wall framing. We need to do two walls at the front, which are going to be very simple because we want to do car polycarbonate panels so that lots of light comes in. And then we have one more window spot to go in. And then we're going to be done with the framing, which is really, really exciting. I think when we go to town this afternoon, we're going to pick up the uh, polycarbonate panels. We're going to get some uh, OSB plywood for inside so that it's nice and strong. We've got uh, hardy board siding here already that we recycled from a job that Greg did. We were going to use it on the house, but we decided we don't want to use it. So we're going to put it on the barn and be really nice to get that pile out of here because we've had it stored in the yard for I think years now so about three years. yeah almost three years so I'm really looking forward to getting that pile of siding out of here <laughs> and used up and I think it's gonna look really nice so yeah we're uh, working on walls today While Greg is framing up the last wall, I'm gonna get the windows cleaned up because they have been sitting for a number of years now. They're pretty dirty. They kind of came to us in rough shape anyways. So I'm gonna start scrubbing them.
All right, windows are clean, mostly clean. Uh, they're going in a barn, so I'm not super worried about it. They're gonna be pretty dirty anyways, but they look 100 times better. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, yeah, it's another thing that we've recycled from a project that Greg worked on and has been sitting in our yard for years. So along with the siding, I'm looking forward to getting this installed and no longer being a pile of junk in the yard. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Not only did our hen paintbrush have five little chicks that she uh, hatched out of the goat pen, we also purchased five, uh, they are Ceremma frizzles. So they're gonna be cute little tiny chickens. You can look up those breeds if you're interested uh, or just wait a few months until these ones grow up and then you can see what they look like but they are cool looking chickens that I've wanted for a long time. So we actually got five, but one of them was really, really tiny and it didn't transport very well. So we did have to put it down, but uh, we've got four here that were totally healthy and you know, did well with the transport, the move and all that. So I will show you them now. over top of the header. Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me, Turkey Tom. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull it back, watch your fingers. Not even close or what? Nope. There we go. All right, we have got the walls framed all done. All, we do need to fill that area in, but once we're working higher up, we can work on that. And our next step before we wrap up this video is going to be to put a strip of metal around the base of all the walls. Keeps it so that, well, because it's a pole barn, we, we need the bottom of the walls covered. Uh, metal make it so the water doesn't wick up, um, rodents can't get in, uh, just keep everything kind of on the outside of the barn that we want on the outside of the barn and it helped tie in everything. And when we put our siding over top of it, it'll, it'll tie into the siding quite nicely. Yep, so we've got some scraps that Greg salvaged from a job that he was working on and uh, the color is gonna, it's a little bit different from what we're gonna go with, but it's gonna match nicely so whatever you can see of the metal it'll just blend right in and look really nice.
that you got that bone? Yours? Where'd you get the bone? Whew. Wow, that was a very productive day. <laughs> We're gonna wrap up the video here and uh, yeah, we'll see you with siding tomorrow, I think. Siding and interior wall sheeting. Gonna be another big day, but that's all we got for now. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.